Good morning, afternoon, afternoon. Yeah, whatever it is. Howdy, y'all. Um, I had a subscriber share with me today uh, some of the places that the eclipse is going to go over and some interesting details. And I, I've been racking my brain. We've had company and I haven't been feeling real well. And I've been ra racking my brain on what can I do this week's video on? Because the last couple have been so awesome. It's like, how can I trump this? Um, I don't think I can. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. But for the most part, I, I do have an idea now. Uh, thank you, Artisan Bard, for that. Um, so I'm just going to go in and see what y'all think about this. And Let's look at some of these places, okay? Um, here's one of the first ones. Uh, so if you go to the NASA website and, and it gives you the the path, okay? And I thought we'll just kind of start down here at the bottom. And I thought, ooh, 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 we got this spot right here, right? And what do they got? And I'm just going to kind of look here. We've got this. And this one frustrates me right here. None of the rest of it surprises me at all, period. End of story. Um, Yeah. So yeah. I, I decline from becoming a member of much of anything because of this. So, um, yeah. So I did want to see if we could find a picture. Um, yeah, I wasn't finding a picture, but we have um, our story includes Baylor, the suspension bread, and other central ta Texas landmarks. This particular one is the oldest organization of any kind in this particular town. And I'm being careful because, you know, I don't know what will be, what will be docked on me. So I guess this is maybe what it looks like. Very interesting indeed. Uh, that one doesn't say for sure for her. If that's the same building, just another angle of it. But I mean, that's okay. And this is going to be one of the buildings that is in the totality. Um, oh. oh, there's an older image under how old that one is interesting of course we saw that on the website yeehaw that looks like one of the aprons ah. interesting putting wonder where that's at cracking code trip to me both reveals a bunch of pop-ups that are going to come out. I hate pop-ups. I'm just going to tell you guys, you go to my website and you will not get those. If you ever see a pop-up on my website, you tell me because some something's gotten in there that I didn't say. I hate pop-ups. Okay. A trip reveals not so secret history of them in Texas. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's, that's very interesting indeed. You mentioned any tabs, see how big this is. I guess that's as big as it gets. Very interesting. 1948. Huh. Well, there's that. Okay. So let's see what else we can find. So I was kind of going through, did you know there was a Beverly Hills in Texas? Didn't that just 
and Woodway. They've got their own, like, I've never been there. I've been to Paris, Texas, but, and of course, I've been through there. I'm not even going to go there. I, I know there's a bunch of stuff there, and it is in the line. It It is, but, I yeah, I'm not even... There might be some interesting stuff here, but I'm not real. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not good. It's just some highway. Mount Vernon? Really? Wow. There's Mount Vernon. Okay. So it's showing that it's right there beside it. And then Pleasant. So Mount Vernon. And I'm not showing it. Is it? Oh, maybe this is it. No, pleasant. Okay. Hmm. I'm not good at this Google Earth stuff, guys. And I've got many names. Oh, the allergies. I don't know if you can hear the wind outside, but Oklahoma is being very active lately. Yeah. At least we did get some snow the other day, so that did help settle down fire stuff. And, you know, the thing would be, and this is what I've been kind of doing, is just doing melt. Oops. I'm probably spelling that wrong over time. I'm terrible. What is that? See what they've got. Got indoor pictures. Looks like they've got quite the crew there. Their handy dandy little aprons on. 1870 home in Mount Pleasant. Interesting. Looks like some very interesting old homes. I, I love looking at old houses. Ooh, hardware at Mount Pleasant. Well, I wonder what what that is. Hmm. I'm selling images. That's but that's an interesting. Huh. Some interesting stuff. See, you guys got to look for these kinds of things on the sides of your churches and stuff. And sometimes they'll be like on a stone uh, under a bush or something on the ground that they've been added later. And this looks like most of the most of the towns out here. Notice the slope. So, yeah. That looks very, there's an interesting old building. Mm -hmm. That's Michigan. You never know what they're going to show, show you in these things. This is one of the placement places. Great find Texas. Don't know if they're in the line or not. 
anyway, very you that's Utah. So not very much. So yeah. And then Mount Vernon. We need to look up Mount. We need to look here, don't we? I always like to kind of look from the top and see what the actual layout layout. I mean, why do we have this here? You know what I'm saying? That's interesting. Um, and I know we've got one of the towns up in Texas just south of us that has something similar to this. It's like, okay, interesting. Why, why? You know, I'm sure there's some reason if you go back and ask somebody. A lot of times they don't, they don't even really know. There's we've kind of got a similar thing kind of going on here. And we've got some terraces going on. Um Sometimes terraces work really well because there's hills, and sometimes terraces are just. We have a lot of things that are blacked out. Now, whenever there's stuff like this blacked out like this, sometimes that is the landowner asking for it to be blacked out. These might be ponds. I don't know, but they're awfully black for it to be a, a pond. I don't no, I don't think those are ponds. I think they've been purposely blacked out. For some reason, somebody is, there are a lot that's blacked out around there. It either got around, ooh, Calvary Baptist Temple. That looks like it's probably a newer building, the way the roof situation is there. not going to let me do anything. Maybe I'll pop up with something here. Yeah, that's a newer building. It's so going to give us a picture. Sometimes visitor centers will be something interesting and sometimes they're they're not. Okay, exit. Yeah. Well, this is an inside picture. Well, National Nature Preserve. That's interesting. Wonder what's under that. Um, look here. Isn't that interesting? Huh. Again, it could be from terracing, but I don't know. What do you guys think? That that is all the different colors and stuff. Huh. I mean, because the rest of the trees around it are not, and that's blacked out. I mean, and those may be ponds. They may be. I mean, but the way this looks is very different from the way. So it may be water. I mean, there looks like there's definitely a creek going here. 2024 Google. So that's, these are pretty new. I know the planes have been flying around our place, so they are definitely refreshing stuff. Hmm. These rural areas, it's a little harder to get in to what's going on. Okay. Let's see. So Mount Vernon is kind of an interesting, there's Paris. Yep. We went to Paris for our honeymoon. That wasn't our main place, but we went to Paris on our honeymoon and stayed in Paris, Texas. And that was neat. Um, Mount Ida, hot springs. You know, I have never been to a hot springs before. Ozark, Clark's Little Rock. I think I could probably go into Little Rock. Uh, 
This is just one of the things that I'm thinking could. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Is that actually in Little Rock? It sure is. Wow. I know his grandson. He actually preaches against them. Oh, my goodness. Somebody had a wedding. And all the women were in red. Oh. If you know, you know. And you understand all the things that are going through my head at that. That just is awful. Let's see. Open this image in a tab. It'll, yeah, it'll get in bigger. Wow. Printed in Germany. For New Wilson Web Company, sale agent, Little Rock, Arkansas. Printed in Germany? Seriously? There is photography. It doesn't say the year. Ah, oh, there's a big old steeple over here. Wow. How about that, guys? wonder what the story is there maybe a, a lunch break we'll we'll do something about that that would be kind of fun I don't know how often he's done things in Texas or Arkansas I guess I'm in Arkansas here there's another older photo uh, so if you guys want to do this stuff this is kind of one of the ways, I'm sure this isn't the only way. That's interesting. Look, look at those huge columns compared to those old cars. That's that's amazing. I mean, that's just, wow. Here's another older photo. Yeah, it's a small one. It looks like it was a postcard, maybe. Wow. Interesting indeed. Oops, yes. And I and I'm just picking on these guys just because it's interesting. There's another of that one. In Little Rock. I have a date. It's a booksellers. Crapple. Also been Crapple. Islamic Temple. Robert's photographer. Look at look at this here. So yeah. Looks like he's got a bowler hat on. There's no vehicles. These are all horse and wagon. And we didn't have electricity until the 30s, right? Or, you know, I mean, widespread or whatever. But Little Rock, Arkansas was... I wish I could see what that name... They probably turned it into a bunch of, you know, offices or something. Interesting. Interesting indeed. West Arkansas. Democrat. Again, Albert Pike Conservatory. Wow. How about that? Uh, 62608. It's written upside down. There's that. Also, then Chapel. Maybe that's what it is. Oops. Crapel. Um, Little Rock, Arkansas. Wow. Quite, quite that. And look how these are kind of up from the, and then that's, that's, these are all lower. Those do look like basement, legitimate basement windows to me. But okay, why are these up higher and then these are down lower? That doesn't make any sense. I'm sure there's some reason, but you know. How come they didn't build stuff like that on our land? And then it might actually be under us. 
I, I wonder what is underneath us. But I mean, that would be so cool to have a balcony like that. That's just amazing. Um, no, Mr. Granddaddy himself. Woohoo! And his grandson looks just like him. I mean, looks just like him. There's another angle of it. Oh, it's too bad. So sad. Anyway, isn't that interesting? Okay, let's see what else we can find. Oh, Russellville. I know everybody's saying, oh my goodness, there's all these Ninevehs, you know? Cherokee Village, Pocahontas. Why? Why? Why out here is something that named Pocahontas or Shigan? Makes sense. Very independent was making fun of the names that you get of things out here. Um, he's from eastern Oklahoma. And yeah, us out here in the western Oklahoma kind of make fun of people in eastern Oklahoma because they can hear the banjos from Arkansas type of thing. Oh, you can hear the banjos. So we're hicks and they're more you know, closer to the Appalachian and the, the Smokies. And so, you know, we're hicks, they're hillbillies kind of a thing. Anyway, it, it's just in fun, but he irritates me. I just, I have to say it. I mean, I deal with a lot of cowboys and stuff out here and, um, there's just, I he's got good information. I'm not there's another Mount Vernon. And and what state is this in? Are we in Arkansas there still? No, that's Illinois. And we've got another Mount Vernon. How about it? Has anybody been saying anything about this? That's two Mount Vernons. Here's a Mount Carmel. Okay. Um Um, Illinois. Is that how it's spelled? Just don't come at me for my spelling. It's terrible. I know it is. Um, let's see. Mount Vernon, New York. That's not the one I'm looking for. No. We're looking. So there's Mount. I wonder if it goes over Mount Vernon, New York. Mount Vernon, Illinois. In 1881. So in 1881, Illinois already looked like this, supposedly. Got the straight line going through here. All these little setups going on. Of course, this is probably not portraying what was actually there, I'm just assuming. Just showing, uh-oh, there's a bigger something here. Interesting. Around something here. Here's your train with your smoke and stuff. Interesting. Huh? probably go in here and go a little bit more in depth than some of the stuff like downtown and and try to find what some of this was 1881 uh, interesting indeed um, yeah historic preservation commission that says iowa is that iowa instead of Illinois? <laughs> terrible uh, is that why i'm having trouble so we've got a mount vernon here and then no oh, it's illinois i know what i'm talking about Uh, 
Huh. Yep, Mount Vernon, right there. So they've been talking about Nashville. I, I've heard people in various little videos and stuff talking about Nashville, um, but Mount Vernon, okay? I'm not seeing a Nineveh, so I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss, guys. Um, okay, let's... Let's keep going. Um, Bloomfield, Bloomington, Indianapolis. So we go through Dallas and Indianapolis. Those are two big ones. Um, Versailles. Interesting. Green Town. And I'm just kind of skimming, so I may be missing something. But I'm really, really curious if it's going to go through Mount Vernon, um, New York. Because doesn't it go through Cleveland? I'm really curious. Meadville. Jamestown. Wow. And... I know there's a bunch of stuff up here that, you know, because supposedly they could build a lot of stuff in the 1700s that they couldn't build out west. So a lot of ours probably got destroyed comparatively. Oh. I'm going to see where it is. Burning, New York. In Illinois, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Let's see, Indiana. Where is it? Okay. Not far off of St. Louis. So let's take this back. So, come on, Sam, get out of my way. So, we've got Indianapolis. So it is, isn't it? It's got to be right. And it's got to be pretty close. So here's the totality. There's Louis, Louisville, Louisville, Evansville. It's Make a little closer here. Santa Claus, seriously? Oh my goodness. So we've got all right, we've got it's in between. Am I up too high? No. Google Earth set me on a weird. So it's kind of in between. St. Louis and Louis Belt. So it's got to be right in here, doesn't it? Sure it is. Here we go. We've got a Mount Vernon right there. Um, and then that's in Indiana. And then Mount Vernon, New York. Let's see where that one is. Oh, that's oof, oof, oof. I don't care about going in that close. So that's just like right above the Yonkers. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not. Okay, let's pull it over. No, that's not going to be 
in the line. So and Virginia would be out of the way. It doesn't go through Virginia at all, does it? Yeah. So, okay. So, Indiana, oops. And it's close. The Columbus, this one up here, Mount Vernon, right there. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so if we just do like Mount Vernon. Um, wow. Assassin's Creed. Um, Great Falls. Interesting. Huh. So anyway, that I think that's interesting. I do. I do. I do. Where is um Serpent Mount? Mound. Has anybody looked into that? Mm -hmm. It's in Ohio. No, oh, I don't need to. Only on close. I think that's off the path, isn't it? Let's see. It's on the other side. Cincinnati. So, so it's outside, but how much you want to bet there's going to be some people there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be going over Indianapolis. You know these bigger towns, Cleveland. Probably be very interesting to see over the Great Lakes. Niagara Falls. Wow. Wow. I'm looking forward to seeing the images that people share. I really am. It's going to stop there. Interesting. Why is that circle? Huh? NASA, why do you have that circled? Are you going to have something sitting there? It's going way out here. That's interesting indeed. So what is that on Google Earth? Yeah, I, I'm just checking things out, guys. Is that... What else is there? It's not going to give me any of the other towns. Oh, good grief. Uh -huh. There it is. So it's going to be off the coast of here, this big circle thing that's going on. So I wonder what's happening here. What what all you know, this is, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Something's going on down in here, guys. Might watch for that. See what's going on, like with weather and things in this area over here. Um, and supposedly they're turning on the CERN that day. Well, they're tuning it. It's already on. It they turned it on yesterday, I think. Um. 
which is probably part of the reason I haven't been feeling good, but, um, but they're going to be tuning it to a different frequency is what they're doing. Um, and I bet the ones up here, because we do have several there, there's one up here. There's one, but there's not one down here anyway, because the people said, no, don't do it. But you know how that goes. Um, so there's different ones around. I wonder if it'll tell me if I go into this. Um, to do, 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 um, See, my spelling is terrible. Where are you? New York, New York. Okay. So there's one in New York. Where is it? Ah, pop ups. Um, up in New York. So That's off, but I I bet it'll be on. So it's not in the line of. So that's interesting. Um. Okay, here's two. Um. Okay. Well, I guess this one is only. Okay, there we go. and I'm just exiting out of this stuff so I mean I'm not going to be sharing links you guys have seen how I've gotten it so hopefully you can look up here magazines and stuff and this is kind of an interesting thing whenever we compare to this that that so we definitely have a few that are pretty close anyway going through here and here right so i bet they i bet they will all be on and i think there's more there's definitely more of them because I know there are one up in here too. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting, interesting image there. I'm going to save that image. Okay. Um, because that's interesting comparing it to where that is going to be going so be aware of that um if you're sensitive to you know frequencies and stuff then it's definitely something to be aware of 
That's another interesting image. So, you know, we're going through here and they have all of these on and we know, you know, the proper placement of these. Okay. Um, yeah, that could be doing some major fun. Baba Tia, Illinois. No, 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 oh, right up there by Chicago. Yeah, so that's off a little bit. That's on the other side of that's I'll check out what's another one. That's interesting. Wonder if we And this is like a suburb Chicago ish Geneva. Electric substations. And then you have this great big thing here. And it's not labeling it. But there you guys know where it's at now. Right there, next to the big ones. Interesting. Interesting that there are several parks and preserves around it, you know, right there in the midst of the Chicago area. Right there. I mean, I bet people feel really good whenever that thing gets is running. We've got peace on earth on there. Wow. So anyway, yeah, if you've got something going on here and something going on over here and everything, you know, personally, I'm not going to be there. I, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm going to stay over here in my little panhandle area. And pray most of the day, probably. Um, I probably won't even be home that day. I may try to go out into the wilderness and just get away from all the frequencies I possibly can that day. Just personally, I feel like there's a lot of great photographers and videographers that can get images of the cool stuff. If somebody knows what that is. I'd really like to know what that is. That's got me curious, but yeah, there's, I, I'm not okay. Seeing the whole Nineveh thing. We've got San Antonio here. We've got several larger towns and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I get some of the point that people are saying Vienna uh, of what you know and, and I'm not going to say there's not some prophetical uh, meaning with things but I think this is a bunch of people and entities messing with things so I'm I'm going to take it for that at this point here's the main stuff that's going on um, and you know, I, I'm, I'm going to take the rest of it with kind of a grain of salt. I don't know why it put me on a stinking ball. Why did you put me on a ball? Um, so if I start going through. Mm 
more pleasant. I just, I, I'm not, I'm not seeing it, guys. Mountain View. There's probably some great places to be watching things, but um, Salem. You know what I'm saying? I think people are kind of trying to push the issue a bit. I'm just not. I don't know. We will see, I guess. We will, we will, we will see. There's, there's, there's a lot to see. Ah, uh, sorry about the nose. But I thought, hey, let's just get in there and let's kind of look at some things. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff and people are going into, you know, we do have a lot of temples and stuff throughout the U.S. I mean, Grecian, Roman, all that kind of stuff. I think they probably, first of all, I mean, if you've been watching the channel for very long, you know that I believe that the Greek empire was worldwide covered most of the earth not just that area i believe the babylonian empire did so therefore you know we have evidence now that people are digging up that the egyptian empire definitely did was probably worldwide okay so we have egyptian things all over the place and then uh the babylonian empire was worldwide and if you think about the step pyramids and stuff in mexico and different places it's like that makes sense that the babylonian empire was worldwide and then um you know after that you have the media persian empire and you have the beautiful domes and you know that kind of architecture so i do believe that that empire was worldwide and that's where a lot of that architecture came from and i'm not saying that the millennial reign didn't have a bunch of architecture built but if we go back in history and we actually look at these different empires and we believe the bible for what it says that these were you know empires worth having in the book of daniel as a prophecy a huge prophecy and that the rock of the kingdom was going to crush the image in from the dream, then it would make sense that it be worldwide, right? So seeing Greek architecture throughout the world makes sense. Seeing Roman architecture throughout the world makes sense. So which architecture doesn't make sense in what we're seeing? So whenever we're going through what they're bringing up on Mind Unveiled, on my lunch break, on, you know, some of these channels that are bringing some of this stuff up, uh, what architecture doesn't mo make sense with those world empires before our Messiah came? The ones that make sense before were probably already here. I, I totally believe that. The ones that don't make sense with that, um, some of the other, uh, what we consider like Byzantine type things, now that I can believe is maybe millennial reign buildings, okay? And so if we think of some of the Byzantine type buildings, the um, Gothic tight buildings a lot of that i believe could be tartarian or millennial kingdom okay so i'm just trying to put all this together but you know and it would make sense that we would have all of those different architectures in the same cities so i mean one uh 
you know, empire is going to come in and take over after another. So it would make sense that we would have these different kinds of architecture within the same cities, right? And uh, where like the castle things came from, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. There is some of that that looks very similar to that in the Middle East that's like in ruins and stuff. So, um, you know, was that part of maybe the Medo Persian Empire or something like that? I don't, I don't know. The, if you remember the statue of Daniel from Nebuchadnezzar's dream, you know, you had the gold, which was the Babylonian Empire. We know before that there was an Egyptian empire, and we know before that there was the uh, Akkadian. Um, no, the Akkadians were. What were the Akkadians? And anyway, we had the the Sumerian Sumerian Empire before that. So you know, uh, when Noah and his family got off the ark, then you ended up with the Tower of Babel. And Nimrod, Gilgamesh, those things. Yeah, that was in Cadian. Um, you had that that empire originally. And then after the Tower of Babel, things break up. And then you have the Egyptian empire. Now, how like the Chinese empires come into some of that, I'm not really sure. But they have similar... Uh, they have similar architecture there as well, but we know that they had their own thing uh, where in South America, I could see where that fit in with the other empires. And they do in South America, they have all of the different architectures as well. Okay. But it just doesn't get the press, you know, in Africa, they have all of the different architecture as well. It just doesn't get the press. And of course, Australia, if you haven't watched um, the Tartarian Truthers out of Australia, they do a really good job showing uh, the, the different levels as well of architecture that they see going on. Um, so trying to split up the pre-flood and post-flood and then the different empires, we're not told pre-flood uh we know that there were wars and things pre-flood but we're not told that anybody had a particular empire or anything like that in between so we don't know how the powers changed other than we've got the stories of atlantis and lumeria and you know things like that so we know they're you know and we have the stories of um you know, the Atlanteans and all of that kind of stuff. So, so there is a lot there and trying to fit that in with like some of the stories from India and China. I, I think it's important that we do need to look at their stories, their ancient scriptures and their stories and see where those fit with the different ones. Now, oh. India, I feel like would have been maybe part of the media persian empire but it's also part of asia so uh you know i i really wonder how some of that how some of that works uh because there are some things that are very different there that i don't know that we see in other places so if anybody's like got a video out about seeing some of those uh, you know, an Indian temple carved with those intricate carvings carved out of bedrock, like uh, Praveen Mohan shows in his videos anywhere else in the world. Tell me, because I would like to see that. I know that a lot of what they have is similar to some of the South American stuff that's been found, but I haven't seen those details specifically i i mean the 3d carvings into bedrock i mean it's just oh, oh. um so i'm curious I, i'm really curious 
And yes, my husband, I don't know if you can hear it, but my husband's on the, the tractor outside the dog's barking. You know, this is real life out here. So if you're hearing extra noises and stuff, I'm sorry, Oklahoma wind is beating the band right now. And yeah, things are happening. So anyway, I, hopefully this gives y'all something to think about and to consider as far as what's coming up. I feel like there, there's a plan and something's going to happen. Whether it is something that fits into scripture as, you know, like prophetic or anything, I, I'm, I'm not really there right now. I, I'm really not. I, I'm, I, prophecy is multifaceted, so I have no doubt that there could be, yeah, I mean, we can apply so much of the Bible just to our own lives. In our own short, little, infinite lives, we can apply so much of the Bible. So there's a lot of, like, Shelley at There's No Place Like Home says there, you know, there's so much that's cyclical, and and I still believe that. Uh, but at the same time, if we're leaning toward an eschatology that believes that a majority of the prophecies have happened, and that we could possibly be in the short season right now, uh, then it makes me feel like this really has nothing to do with what's going on. They're trying to make the best of it. And... Uh, right now, they're not having a lot of luck because the moon and the sun are not doing things the way they're supposed to. And a lot of people are noticing. I'm getting a lot of comments back and forth that it's not in the right place. It's not where it's supposed to be. And it's going back and forth from one night to another. It's in completely different areas where, you know, like the sun is moving from winter to spring and spring to winter and back and forth type of thing. Um, and, and, you know, and, and people have got some video of the moon coming out of the portal and where you can see several different moons. And so, uh, it, the veil is thin right now. It's been thinning for quite some time, but it is very thin right now. So pray that bubble of protection over your home and family. Definitely pray that over if you're traveling or anything. Pray that bubble of protection around your vehicle as you are traveling. Um, and just stay alert, stay aware. Make sure you have some extras, extra stuff going on, you know, and that you've got good contact with your family and a way to keep in contact uh, just in case. And that's the best we can do. And just, you know, I've tried to tell somebody this morning you are in no safer place than in God's will. So if you are where God has placed you and you are doing what God has given you to do and you are filling your fulfilling your potential the best you possibly can, then you are in no safer place. And beyond that, and I know a lot of people think that I'm terrible whenever I say this, but the worst that can happen is the best. If you're prepared spiritually for the kingdom, you are a part of the kingdom and an heir of the kingdom, then the very worst that can happen is the best thing. You end up in the kingdom. So, and I'm, I'm ready. I, I'm ready. If you all of a sudden don't see things happening with this channel, uh, you know, check my Facebook and see if my family has let you know that I've gone on to glory because, you know, if that happens, I, you know, rejoice. Uh, yes, I, I want to see my family grow up and do all the things and stuff. I've got a little different concept of heaven than a lot of other people do. I don't think everything stops and we just sit in clouds uh, playing harps. Okay. Um, I've got divs for librarian. That that's in, in uh, one of them. little log cabin at the bottom of the mountain with my own like <laughs> forget the mountains. <laughs> okay. That's my thought. 
anyway, um, yeah, I've babbled on enough and I really appreciate you guys. And those of you who have gone in and got the Purim Bible study off of Amazon, I did have somebody ask if they mailed it to me, if I would sign it and send it back to them. And I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, and I'll even pay the shipping to to mail it to you. So you don't even have to worry about that. So if you have want to have, I haven't ordered extras. Um, so I don't have them on hand to send to people right now. And I'm gonna be working on the introduction and preparation for Passover book and hopefully get that out here pretty soon. So, you know, um, uh, but those of you who have bought uh, last year's magazine in the volume in the book on Amazon or my stars book or the Purim book, you know, thank you. Uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving a review, I would appreciate it. That that really helps a lot. Um, And I think all of them are free on Kindle Unlimited. So if you if you have that, you can get them free there. And I just really appreciate the reviews. And so anyway, um, the new magazine will be out April 30th. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be busy working on that here pretty soon too. Oh yes. And if you've made it this far, that is awesome. I am going to be Sunday, the sapient podcast is going to be um I I did an interview with him and he's going to be posting it Sunday evening I will put a note in the uh community and a link hopefully whenever it it gets there to let you guys know we had a blast he's in India and I was not expecting to have that much fun on a podcast an interview it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. He, he was, he was a hoot too. And, and I think sometimes we were having a little trouble understanding each other, you know, but it was, it was great. It was a hoot. We talked for nearly two hours. And if you are interested in that, then be watching for it. And he, he's, he was a lot of fun. I'm hoping to actually get him on the channel at some point. And, uh, yeah, because I was not expecting that. It was great. So anyway, I, I think that's all of the updates and stuff. So remember, you can make it through the dust storms of life with God's divine help. We will see you all later.